Saturday night cavalcade of sports features. Brought to you by America's largest selling quality cigar, El Producto, the cigar with natural mildness. El Productos are made with special tobaccos that are aged for years, mellowed in wood for natural mildness. Brother, you never had it so mild. And by Gillette, maker of the 195 adjustable racer and the remarkable super blue blade that gives all but unbelievable shaving comfort. Foamy, the cream of all instant lathers. And Rate Guard, the new power spray deodorant for men. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Charlie Scott, the Philadelphia left hook artist, and Ralph Dupas, the master boxer from New Orleans, tangle in the 10-round welterweight feature at Madison Square Garden tonight. In three previous meetings, Dupas leads two to one. Charlie Scott is one of the most polished left hooks in boxing, but sometimes he seems to put too much reliance on it. He had Dupas on the floor in their first meeting, which he won in Chicago, but then dropped two close decisions to him in Australia. Last time out, Scott easily defeated Gaspar Ortega. Overall, he has won 29, lost 16, and scored 14 knockouts. He has suffered two KOs. Ralph Dupas, who has been boxing 12 years, is making his first appearance in the garden in six years. He's a wonderful boxer whose talents are sometimes not appreciated because of a lack of a real knockout punch. In all, he has won 92 bouts, lost 14, fought six draws. He has stopped 15 and suffered his lone KO when he got down to the lightweight limit to fight Joe Brown for that crown. Both men are 26 years old. Dupas is five feet eight, while Scott is five feet nine. At the commission weigh-in this morning, Scott was 146 and a quarter, while Dupas was 148. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round welterweight fight between Charlie Scott and Ralph Dupas. All set to take things underway, our junior ring announcer, Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. An outstanding match now being arranged will be announced in the newspapers in a day or two for next Saturday night's attraction here at Madison Square Garden. And Monday night at the St. Nicholas Arena, welterweights, two young welterweights, Tony Fortunato will meet Gil Diaz in the feature attraction. Here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Tony Rossi and Adi Idala. The timekeeper, George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns, Tommy Walsh. Your referee for the main event, Teddy Martin. Ten rounds from New Orleans, Louisiana, wearing black trunks, weighing 148, Ralph Dupas. Dupas. His opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, wearing white trunks, he weighs 146 and a quarter pounds. Charlie Scott. Scott. Main event, 10 rounds. Both you men boxed the New York State before. But let me remind you, we applied the mandatory eight count knockdown rule. When you score the knockdown, you go to the farthest neutral corner and stay there until I complete my count. Then I'll wave to you and beckon you into the Zoom boxing. If you're knocked down three times in any given round, the fight is automatically stopped. Okay. When I ask you to break it, what you break, step back and break clean. Good luck to both. Scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. Ralph Dupas, the master boxer. Charlie Scott, the hard-hitting left hook artist. Dupas, the black trunk, Scott in white. Scott figures that Dupas can't hurt him, although he can outbox him, so he's going to go in all out for him, he told me. This bout goes a ways. You'll see that Dupas knows every trick in the book. Although, like Luis Rodriguez last week, he said he's going to get more aggressive. That's a 
whipping left hook that Scott throws. He sometimes doesn't uh, get it really going for a couple of rounds, however. One is within hitting range. Dupas is going to stay close because Scott needs room to throw that left hook. Dupas fights by instinct. He makes no plans in advance, regardless of whom he's fighting. One minute to go in round one. They continue head to head this way. They continue head to head. Somebody could get butted or gashed. Seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. So mild. We're coming up to round two at Madison Square Garden. Ralph Dupas and the Black Trunks, Charlie Scott and White, Teddy Martin, the referee. To cope with uh, Dupas' speed, Scott is two pounds lighter than he was the last time he fought. Dupas has become a full-fledged welterweight. Worth working that body pretty good. A little bit more than a minute to go in round two of a ten rounder. Now 
Dupas is making Scott fight his way. Scott wants long range. He's got all the tricks at Dupas. Scott has the punch. There's the bell ending round two. Let's go back to the corner with uh, Charlie Scott and see who's in there. Facing him is one of his trainers, Milt Bailey, and re reaching in from the left-hand side is regular trainer and advisor, Joe Gramby. Reaching in from the right-hand side is the manager of Charlie Scott, Huey Toland. Uh, that trio has been with Scott in every fight we've had them in, and that's been quite a few. On the other side of the ring, we have the 26-year-old from New Orleans. He's only got two men in there. That's Ralph Dupas. And from the outside, his cut man, Chicky Ferrara, was just working on him. Meanwhile, his trainer, uh, Charlie Rodriguez, is inside the ring and uh, giving him some words of advice. So, but after 112 fights, a smart fighter like Dupas, you wonder just how much they can tell him. Round three at Madison Square Garden. Ralph Dupas, the Black Trunks, Charlie Scott, and White. <laughs> Teddy Martin, the referee. Very efficient one. Willie Pep, ex-great featherweight champion, is in the audience tonight, and he must be getting a kick out of some of these tricks that Dupas is using. Willie practically wrote that book. Teddy Martin says, punch your way out. Dupas. Seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Coming up to round four, the cut near Dupas' left eye is outside the eye on the left-hand side. Not calculated to bother him at the moment, unless it spreads. Out. 
Charlie has that old basketball maneuver of looking one way and throwing his punch the other. left in round four. in this round. Dupas has almost completely changed his style. He's really aggressive tonight. Figures the aggressive fighters make more money. Scott is still hitting the harder punches, however. Do pass the more often. Now, uh, Do pass is landing heavy ones, too. likes it here in Madison Square Garden. It's a battle between uh, a real hard-hitting left hooker, Charlie Scott, and the will-o'-the-wisp man who knows all the tricks, Ralph Dupas, who suddenly has turned aggressive and is hitting hard also. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Saturday is sports day on ABC, the best in boxing and the best in bowling, both afternoon and night. Make that spare follows the fight. Next Saturday, the Professional Bowlers Tour will travel to Maryland for the Chesapeake Bay Open Tournament starting at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, ABC's Wide World of Sports will present the National Ski Jumping Championships in which the team to represent America in the World Ski Championships will appear beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over ABC, America's number one network for sports. Bell for round five, Scott and White Trunks, Dupas and Black. is about half 
over. is putting a little science in the game. <laughs> Dupas landed heavily right after Scott himself had gotten in a telling blow. Ten seconds to go in round five. the bell. Coming up to round six, Madison Square Garden. Ralph Dupas, the Black Trunks from New Orleans, Charlie Scott, the White from Philadelphia. Teddy Martin, the referee. Scott, 146 and a quarter. Dupas, 148. Scott, five feet nine. Dupas, five feet eight. left hook, head or body, he can land it. Some of these rounds will be hard to judge. Does one really hard punch nullify several lighter ones? Matter of opinion. in round six. presented a rousing 10-round heavyweight battle between Eddie Machen and Cleveland Williams. 
Word has just reached us that Machen has suffered a training injury, and the fight must be postponed to a later date. Right now, matchmaker Teddy Brenner is working to arrange another outstanding bout. If we receive word before we leave the air tonight, we'll let you know. Otherwise, please consult your local sports pages and TV listings for the fight of the week next week. Other matches coming up include a 10-round of two weeks from tonight here at the Garden between Sugar Ray Robinson and Dennis Moyer. On February 24th, we'll present the 15-round lightweight championship bout between Joe Brown and Carlos Ortiz from Las Vegas with the Las Vegas area blacked out on TV. All this on the Fight of the Week, brought to you by El Producto, America's largest selling quality cigar, and by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Coming up to round seven, Ralph Dupas, the black trunks, Charlie Scott, the white trunks. And Dupas, by the way, likes his name pronounced Dupas. Two minutes left in this round. to go on round seven. Seconds to go on round seven. There's the bell. To round eight, Madison Square Garden. Charlie Scott in white from Philadelphia. Ralph Dupas in black from New Orleans. Teddy Martin, the referee. In the second round, Dupas sustained a slight cut beside the left eye. Apparently, it's been patched up pretty well. There have been no knockdowns.
Cashin weren't with us earlier. We said that Dupas is a wily fighter who knows all the tricks and he's using all of them. Scott is a hard left hooker. So often you uh, notice Dupas turns southpaw and leads with the right hand. Less than a minute to go in round eight. Eight almost over. There's the bell ending round eight. I'd like to tell everybody again we were to have Eddie Machen and Cleveland Williams next week, but Machen sustained an injury, and uh, Teddy Brenner, our capable matchmaker, is going to come up with another bout. You consult your sports pages and TV listings for the fight next Saturday night. Also, a reminder February 17th, Sugar Ray Robinson, a return with Dennis Moyer. February 24th, Joe Brown, the lightweight champion, defends against Carlos Ortiz in Las Vegas with Las Vegas blacked out. March 24th, Emil Griffith fights Benny Kid Perret for the welterweight title. Incidentally, uh, Admiral John J. Bergen uh, puffing away contentedly on the cigar with uh, Captain Brannon and uh, Sidney Wood, former tennis champion and Mrs. Wood there. Remember, he was a great tennis player not too long ago. We're coming up to round nine. Teddy Martin, the referee, waits patiently out in the center. There's the bell. Dupas in black, Scott in white trunks. getting a little nettled. Dupas just will not give Scott punching room for that left hook. Plus you can't blame him. Scott could knock an ox down with it if he landed cleanly. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Nobody's been staggered. Earlier, uh, Dupas was off balance. It looked as though he might have been staggered, but he wasn't. One minute to go in round nine.
10 seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Coming up to round 10 here in Madison Square Garden, Charlie Scott of Philadelphia, 146 and a quarter, wearing the white trunks, Ralph Dupas of New Orleans, wearing one, the uh, black trunks, weighing 148. No knockdowns. is strong, Dupas can't drive him back with those salvos. On the other hand, Scott can't seem to keep Dupas off him. Two minutes left in the fight in this tenth and final round. left in the fight. Crowd is applauding with about 50 seconds to go. They liked it. Dupas has lost his two previous fights in New York to Ludwig Lightburn and Frankie Riff. He has a fair chance of winning this one. Some rounds would be hard to judge, however. Just about 10 seconds left now. There'll be no knockout. Not that one was expected. They're applauding. There's the final bell. After all that, they throw their arms around each other again over in Scott's corner. We'll have the decision in just a minute. Scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis. Johnny Addy uh, handing the cards over to commissioners in charge, Alvin Erickson and Joe Alperin. Joe's on the left and uh, Erickson is on the right. Scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. Now I guess Johnny's about ready to approach the magic box. Here he is. Judge Adi Dallas scores at 6-3, one even, Dupas. <laughs> Judge Tony Rossi, 6-4, Dupas. <laughs> Referee Teddy Martin, five rounds each, points. 6-5 on points to Dupas. Winner by unanimous decision, Ralph Dupas. Charlie, Charlie. There you have it, Ralph Dupas winning his first bout in New York. 
He had lost two previous bouts, one in the Garden, one in Eastern Parkway, and winning his seventh bout in a row, and the, one, the 93rd win out of 113 bouts in all in his career. A tough loss for Charlie Scott, who seems to lose some very tough ones, by the way. He's been in with some tough ones and lost some tough ones. There's Ralph Dupas. We'll probably be seeing him soon again. And we invite you to be at television ringside next Saturday night and enjoy the fight of the week. Produced by Hugh Beach. Directed by Marshall Diskin. Associate Director Bill Lilling. Technical Director... <laughs>